Welcome to Olympitech, making Discord servers hassle-free. In this video I'm going to talk about translational circuits. In part 2 we covered the autowall commands and the link commands. Before I start the translational circuit I'm going to recap on those. If doing a circuit you need to specify a channel for a, a specific translation. So the first one would be TR, auto all, the language you want, on the channel you want. The second one would be TR link. You do TR link, source channel to destination channel for the language you want. So, a circuit is basically a group of channels that can communicate with one another and the translations go to the right places. So let's start off with four channels. English, French, German and Italian. The whole idea is that all four of these channels can translate to all the other languages and send the translations to the right place. So all English translations end up in general EN, all Italian translations end up in general IT, and the same for French and German. So the first thing we do is we set a portal wall. So we do TR auto wall, the language, whether it be French, German or Italian, and then the channel general EN. By doing so we set up all three on general EN. The next thing we would do is for each of those languages we would do TR link source destination for the language, language we want. So TR link general EN to general French French and that link is set up. So whenever we say anything in general EN now the German and Italian translations will stay there, but the French will go to the French channel. So to do the other two, we just repeat. TR link general EN to general IT for Italian, and it's linked. And again, general EN to general DE, and it's linked for DE. And so we've got our first part of a translational matrix. Now, if you had an announcement channel um, that you basically wanted to translate to multiple languages so they could read it properly. That's what you really needed. You type everything in the first channel and it gets to the right places. Job done. However, if this is a communication channel, you would want all of those languages to be able to communicate back to English, but also for the Italians and the Germans to also understand what you're talking about. So we do the same thing in the next direction. So TR auto all German, Italian and English on general FR. There we go. English, German and Italian. And then we link them. TR link source channel, destination channel for language for all three. So we would do English, German and Italian. And now you've basically got the English and the French communicating bidirectionally and that's the second part of the circuit. So now you can see what's left to do. You just have to do the exact same thing for German and Italian. And once you've got it all set up you have a fully fledged translational circuit. Okay let's see that concept in action. Here I have four channels General English, General German, General French and General Italian. So I'm going to start in bot commands and set up the auto wall for general English. TR auto wall, French, I should go start with German, German on the English channel, French on the English channel, and Italian on the English channel. Then I can say the sky is awake. And we'll get our translation into German, French, and Italian. It won't always come in that order. but So there we go. Now we want to put them in the right place. So TR, link, source channel, general English, to destination channel, I want general German for German. And then link general EN, general French for French, TR link, 
general en to general it for Italian. Now if I say it again, German, French, Italian, all lit up. German, French, Italian. There we go. So, we've got our first section. Now we have to add our second section of the matrices. So we'll do it for the German channel. Auto all. And then we'll do English, General German, Auto all, French, General German, Auto all. Italian general German and then we link it German French for French German English for English and general German to Italian for Italian there we go now if I take this paste it back in we should get English, French and Italian there we go English, French, Italian there we are brilliant so I'm going to bomb through and do the other two channels for you now Now, I've got all that set up, so if we check our auto wall status and our link status, we can see we've got English being translated to German, French, Italian, German being translated to English, French, and Italian, French being translated to English, Italian, and German, and Italian being translated to English, French, and German. And in our link, we can see that each channel, EN, goes to D, F, R, and I, T, F, R goes to E, N, D, and I, T, and so on and so forth. We've got all of our four-way translations in place. So if I now go up here and say, the sky is awake in French, which is that. We'll get German, English, and Italian. There we go. And now if we say that in Italian, we've got English, German, and French. That's your translational circuit set up in Discord. Now the one advantage of Link is that now you've set up one, you can isolate it and set up other ones underneath. The only things that remain different are the channel names. So you could set it up as leaders en or leaders de. You don't even have to have it with the language code in the channel name. It's just a lot easier when you're actually programming this in. That's all folks. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll see you next time.